toys. We have reptile wranglers, we have our pocket pet people, uh, cat crew, dog pals, bunny buddies. You leave your toy here. Well, we always need dedicated volunteers to come in because we have over 23,000 animals that come through our doors each year. Some dogs like to play ball and just fetch a tennis ball for a while. Others like to go for walks and really need walks to get out some energy. And some just, you'll just sit with them and pet them. So we're looking for folks that want to come in and, and just spend some time with our animals. Some volunteers will come on their way home from work and walk one or two dogs. And that's one or two more dogs that will get outside that wouldn't have gotten outside. You would attend an orientation class that we have listed on our website. We go on a tour of the facility so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Then you get your application, you fill it out, you turn it in. If you're going to work with our dogs, we have a dog basics class. So you would just meet with your mentor and that's the final step. And then you're good to go. You leave your toy here. I usually take out about eight to ten dogs and I stay here for several hours. We ask for a whopping six hours a month and most people find that that's not enough. They usually come in more. I also work with the cats and so some days I'll go into a cattery and um, just pet the cats, kind of learn their names, um, also take pictures of them. We have a couple of really good volunteer photographers. That's so cute. I use a lot of weird noises and sounds. <laughs> Stopped by the shelter one day and filled out my application to be a volunteer as a dog walker. And a few weeks later, they were looking for a photographer to take some pictures for the shelter. So I was all over that. There we go. Volunteers to help us at the County of San Diego's Department of Animal Services are crucial. The volunteers are the ones that step up, take these dogs out, get them socialized, give them the attention that these animals so desperately crave. It really uh, changes people's perceptions of the dogs, I think, when they see a, a happy, relaxed dog, and the ears perked up and their eyes bright, and instead of a scared dog when they first come in. Where are you going? It's kind of a win-win. Uh, I hear from volunteers all the time that it's therapeutic for them as well as the animal. Uh, because some of the animals are really shy and timid when they come in. Some of them have never even been pet before because it's just not the environment they came from. So these volunteers are working with them and seeing them kind of come out of their shell, learning their personalities. This dog, when she first came in, wouldn't come out of the kennel and wouldn't interact with anybody. And she's really come a long way um, because a lot of the staff and volunteers have been working with her. I guess I would just say if you're looking to have a good time and cuddle with some pets, we're here. <laughs> It's very satisfying to be able to help these animals get adopted and to show them that they matter and to give them some of your time. It doesn't take a whole lot of time out of your day to come and show an animal that he or she is important.